Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and today I'm using the action sets uh, Luminosity the Essence and Luminosity the Artisan. And we're going to start off with this beautiful image from Robin Long, Newborn Photography, and do a very quick edit using these two sets. I'm going to start off with my base color workflow. You always want to start out with a clean edit before you get into the more creative ones. And I'm going to use the action verve. It gives it a nice, clean, punchy pop. And after that's done running, I'm going to take it down to about 75%. And I'm going to go in here, and I don't want uh, the vignette on there. And I'm going to turn on the toning reds layer here, which is great. You saw how it brought up the reds in her skin and lightened them up a bit. And I'm also going to take the opacity down on this deep, deep layer because I don't want that much contrast when working with the newborn. And you can see it just brightened up the image and gave it a little bit more punch. And I'm going to use uh, the Spot Color Doctor from The Essence to brighten up the, uh, to get rid of the red in her hands there a little bit, just tone it just a little bit. And I'm going to select a color that I want to paint with here, right from her arm where it's not as red, and zoom in and just quickly paint. And I'm not going to have it take all of that right away because that gives it kind of a bluish look there, as you see. I'm going to just take it down to about 65% and get rid of a little bit of that red there. And then next, I'm going to use On the Spot Crisp uh, in the finishing touches of Artisan to just add a little bit of, of crispness and darken up the eye, eye, um, the eyelashes and the lips just a tiny bit there. And I'm going to do it on her hat a little bit too. Okay, so this is where we started and where we are right now. And this is a more subtle edit. Newborns, you don't want to go crazy on your edits. And I'm going to use uh, the Whispers Action from the Softening and Blur section of the Essence. And I'm just going to add a little bit of a blur and softness to the background blanket. Now it leaves the action over the entire image and then you can go in and paint off where you want it to stay. So I'm going to increase my brush size and make sure I have black selected for my brush and just I'm just going to go swoop right over this where my focal plane is right in the middle here. Skip the blanket crisp where she's laying and on her face. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to turn up uh, all of the layers inside here to 100% to really increase the effect of this action. And it's just a very subtle look on here on the on the white. And now I'm going to go into the artisan set and I'm going to run the blender for uh, Luminosity, the artisan, and it's going to stack up all 35 of the toning and color shift, matte haze layers, and you can go in and select just the ones you want, mix and match them, change the opacities just to get your own unique look there. And so it's running 35 actions at once right now, and it does it pretty darn quickly for, for doing that much work. Okay, and you open that folder up, and you've got all of your actions in there, and just turn on the ones that you want. I'm going to use a little bit of candy coated, and I'm, I'm going to just drop the opacity on most of these down to about 25%, 30%. A little bit of Muse, drop the opacity down on that. A little bit of peach frost, and then drop the opacity on that one. And then Rhapsody, which gives it a little bit more punch, and drop the opacity on that. And then we can go up here and turn this on and off to see the effects of that. And I'm going to take my brush and drop the opacity on the brush down to 44% and just click one time on her face to bring some of that haze off of her face there. 
And so you see all of our actions that we were been, that we have been working with are all stacking up over here and all work together and you don't need to worry about flattening or things getting messed up when you're running multiple actions together with these sets. And to finish off, I'm going to run Rich Deep Matte from the Artisan set and then just make sure I mask off of her face here. I'm using my black brush again. And so you see our final uh, before and after, a very subtle but very pretty edit. We're using Luminosity, the Artisan, and the Essence. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.